It's so weird not seeing myself there, but I also love it at the same time. <laughs> yo, 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 my people. Today we are going to be building a house in Bloxburg, but we're only doing the exterior in this video and the layout. And then we're going to do the interior decorating and everything on stream this coming Saturday. And that day, uh, I actually don't even know. It's the 6th of June, 2022 right now. So, and that's Monday. So whenever Saturday is after that, <laughs> let's go ahead and look on Pinterest and get some inspo. Let me go to like my Bloxburg inspo or build inspo. There we go. I don't know if I have full houses here, but we can see. I know I have a lot of interiors. I have some Bloxburg houses. Oh my gosh. Look at this little tree house. But that's like not what I was going for. Oh, this look at this little cottage right here. Oh my. I'm so tempted. I don't know what to do because I was going to go for like a full on house. Not for something small like I normally do. But then this one's also really cute over here. Can you just tell how much I love cottages? <laughs> I'm going to keep the ones that I've seen in my mind but I want to look at another board and see if I can find anything else good I have my dream home board that's like probably the best one where I could find something good <gasps> Ooh, look at this one I like that house I'm very tempted I might go with that okay let's get on into build mode and get this part started I'm gonna try to do the porch thing and use a flat roof in the basement as one tends to do <laughs> I don't know about the sizing I'm just kind of going with the flow here also you may have noticed that I am not using any face cam in this video and there's two reasons for that one you'll see in Saturday's video <laughs> and another is just because I kind of want to start doing less face cam which will be ironic once you see Saturday's video but I just need ways to detach a little bit and I don't know, just remove myself if that makes any sense a little bit from YouTube so I don't get too stressed when things don't go how I want them to go or whatever the case may be. And somehow that has always been a somewhat solution in my head. And meanwhile, I cannot talk about other things and focus on what I'm doing. So yeah, <laughs> fun fact, you won't see this on Saturday's video, but you will see this in future videos and future streams. But I finally am getting new glasses because if you know, no, my glasses broke because <laughs> if you've seen older videos then you know that I used to wear glasses in all of them but they broke and I've been wearing contacts so yeah okay this wood is not going the way I want it to but I think we're just gonna leave it I also don't know if I like that color huh, I'm feeling this rust but I don't know I'm gonna attempt a little bit of a stairway up here like so and then we can bring this one a little bit high and then we need another one about right here like this there we go Go. Um, I can't really do the fence that I wanted to do because literally it's as tall as this roof. Whoops. <laughs> do we make our own at this point? You know what? I think we are going to make our own. Look at that. We can use the pillar. That might be too tall. I'm going to check this out. It is literally as tall as me as an adult. Lovely. <laughs> That's a bit much. Maybe I should go ahead and put the walls for the first floor so I can actually see what we're working with here. <gasps> Is this not straight? Hold on. Oh no, look at this. I did this roof totally wrong. I have to do this all over again, y'all. I can keep those roofs though. Oh my gosh, bless, bless, bless. No wonder the wood was weird. I'm like, why did it turn out like this? That didn't make any sense to me. It doesn't help because since it's in the basement, I can't actually see whether I'm doing it straight and that's why it wasn't straight. Every time I do the same thing, why? I give up, I give up. Let's just do the pillars. I thought I could do this but alas i was wrong okay that ought to help us i think that's right somehow it still feels wrong but like how can it be <laughs> there we go nope 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 i didn't make it tall enough oh my gosh y'all this is supposed to be such a quick easy video meanwhile this is probably like five minutes in already and yeah here we are still trying to get the beginning sorted out properly okay we did it <laughs> goodbye pillars we don't need you there's one wall and then i think this porch can go up to like here yeah the bottom is very easy it's just a plain all square a rectangle i also hope i'm not gonna get a concussion because the walls are too short okay they're like just good enough and now for this makeshift homemade little fencing I'm just wondering if there are ones like, will this one go shorter than those? <gasps> it does. Oh, I have regrets, y'all. I have so many regrets. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm not going to undo 
this that I've started until I actually get the rest of this house, you know, situated, like the actual structure. Second floor is like the one we have here. I know in Sims are pretty much impossible to have as a second floor. And I always thought that they would be impossible in Bloxbury too. And I realized if I use basic shapes, it might actually work out for us. I'm gonna attempt this, but do not hold me to it. I don't promise that it's gonna end up looking like this. I swear these sides were even, they're not. Oh no. <laughs> Before I make the third floor, I want to get some roofs on here because I, I just need to know that this is going to work well enough and not get myself too invested when it's not going to end up working anyway, you know? And slanted roofs can be rotated. Did you know that? If you just hit R, how beautiful. We need some more life to this roof. Let's make it wider. Oh yeah. And then a little bit thicker. Okay, I feel like with this, maybe I can get this third floor started. Ours might look a little bit different here. I'm going to just do it maybe this big. So far, we've got the idea going and the roof on here is just a lovely little pyramid literally a hip roof like this i don't even think i've used this in blocksburg yet can i not make it thicker enough looking at these basic shapes now i'm kind of worried that my idea is not gonna work <laughs> but i can definitely get the like the side over here done if that makes sense let me try that out oh my gosh it's gonna do it but i actually need this to not be all the way down here right now <laughs> okay you know what i'm gonna figure this out and i will be back with you and explain everything when i do as you can see i have figured it out for this left side over here at least for looking from the front so i'm just gonna try to do the same thing i just did over there over here and show you how i did that it's gonna be a little bit convoluted but just stick with me here. So first we need a floor here. Good. Off to a good start. And then we have, ooh, is it going to let me copy these individually? It's not. This is a cube and a pyramid over here. And I'm just going to copy that on this side. I feel like that's right. And then for just behind there, we have a nice cube like this to fit in this little spot. This feels like Tetris, to be honest. <laughs> and then on top of that, we have this same exact pyramid that we had over here. But now it's up here, except can I actually get it? Nope. I think we need this cube over here. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna have to copy this both together. That's what we have to do. And then it goes like this very nicely. Again, very much like Tetris. And we're almost there already. This is nice. And then we can just copy this little sliver and put it right here. And there we have it. I think that is just about it. <laughs> and then roofing this back part is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> Will it go up to where this ends? Oh my gosh, I think it's going to. We're just tweaking it. I think this might do the trick. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I'm really excited right now. This is the moment of truth. <gasps> I think it works. <gasps> y'all, I did it. I roofed this house. Wow. And like, you can still get into these rooms up here. I mean, I don't know if this is really showing you the point, but you will see. Oh no. Look at this roof sticking in here. No, I might have to fix that. Okay, I feel like mine is not as cute as the real thing. It's too wide, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it. And then we still need this little part back here. I don't know whether that's like a shed or like a little pool house, like who knows? I think we can use our imagination here, but you can tell it's a little bit of ways from the porch. So I'm kind of doing it like this. And then maybe we can have it go kind of over here. That's real funky, but <laughs> it is what it is. Look at our house all wall and roofed beautiful Ooh, that front door looks like it's a beautiful sliding door like it's this one but a sliding door that would be so cute i don't know do we have something like that this one wouldn't be too bad i do not want the maximum security sliding door thank you <laughs> the only problem is that it's definitely cut off but we can pretend like that's not a thing even the windows look like they're sliding imagine i think we're just gonna do these large standard windows though they're really nice loving them <gasps> Ooh, it's totally a bay window up here here and I am living for it. It's such a slight one, I feel like, or maybe it's not and I'm just like envisioning that in my head. And then we can just do these standard windows up here. There's two of them in the picture, so bam. And no, I'm not ignoring the fence. We're gonna get to it eventually. I'd like to ignore it though. <laughs> Pretend that it's already perfect. Tell me that this we is not perfect. Ooh, I just realized that coloring these roofs is gonna be the rough part. Hmm. Okay, let me stick to just coloring the walls then because I'm scared now. So I think this is gonna look absolutely crazy, but I think we have to do some roof shingles on all of these basic shapes over here. And that right there is the result for you. <laughs> you tell me what you think about this. I think it works. It's not as terrible as I thought, but not what I was hoping for. Now for this dreaded fence, do we go through and delete all of this and just start with new pillars? I think we have to. Oh my 
my gosh, mission accomplished. The last one, bless. We're gonna have to actually strategically do this. I'm gonna do the big ones, right? On like all the corners and in between, kind of how it looks in the picture. Oh yes, that looks like a good fence height to me. I promise you, I did not mean for this to be this intensive. I thought it was gonna be super quick and simple, but I did it to myself. So I'm the only one I can blame here. Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't color these. Um, Yeah, should have done that. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I have to go through and do all of that. And voila, we did it. Now to use structurals or basic shapes. That is the question. Ooh, would a wooden plank work? Plan B, will a basic shape work? I'm gonna try a beveled cube and we're gonna make it small and relatively thin. I think at this point it just needs to be slightly nudged over like this. That is just gonna have to do it, y'all. Pillars always help so much. Look how much better this looks with this here, even though it's not quite done. You just tell it looks so good. Yet another mission accomplished. I don't think I'm gonna mess with any more windows on the exterior because I don't wanna figure out the layout inside. We're 100% gonna need some stairs up to the second floor which i'm so happy i made like be able to work i'm still shook over that oh no i did not think about this roof when it came to this little section here oh no we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna do it again but we're gonna do it in sections essentially beautimus that's perfect now to do that again okay moment of truth i think it works out okay that should be it bam woo we've done it back to this dreaded layout I see a kitchen on this side of the wall and then we're gonna have a door into whatever room this is over there And then this over here can be a nice living room. Oh my gosh I just realized that I forgot a chimney outside that might change everything <gasps> This one is spot-on right here. I wish I could make it wider like in the picture too, but I can't less So that means <laughs> this right here is gonna be the living room then for sure and Then maybe this can be like a kid's bedroom because I was gonna do like a little playroom over here But that has changed so this can be like a kid's bedroom maybe Maybe. And then we could have a bit of a dining room attached maybe here. Is that really small? That looks really small. Okay, we will widen it like this then. And then I guess this can be a bathroom. I was not wanting this front window to be a bathroom window, but I think it's gonna have to be. And then I guess I can put a wall over here just to close that off. So I think this open space is gonna be kind of like a little lounge area. I think it would be good to have some rooms over here. So we can totally have one in this little corner. And then this over here can be another one. Maybe that'll be like the parents' bedroom or something. And then, oh my gosh, where do we get into this next floor? Yes, this can be like a little like special secret area. Maybe not secret, but a little area for the parents. I'm hoping if I delete this, it's not gonna delete anything else important. Okay, I think we're good. I want to say it's like right here. Okay, let's see if I did that right. <gasps> I totally did, bless. So I'm not doing doors or anything, but I think this is the final layout. Start at the bottom. We walk into the entryway and then like living room over here. Bathroom, I just realized we only have one bathroom. Hmm, okay, anyway, bathroom, <laughs> dining room, kitchen, and then a kid's room. Over here, I'm still not sure what I want to do with this. I think it would be a cute like sunroom. So that might get a lot of changes. We'll see. And then up here, have a little lounge area over here. This is going to be maybe a teen's room or something. And then a parent's room, which goes up into their little getaway up here on the floor final third floor. And before I forget, I'm actually gonna do some gardening because we still have to do that outside. So I'm gonna do some nice little bushes over here or whatever you wanna call these. Ooh, question, can these little like hanging planters, can I put that here? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I can. This is like the best day of my life. It's the best day ever. And then there are a lot of beautiful trees all in the back. So I think I might just do my own little forest, which will probably be so expensive. I almost forgot that there's this little moped here. So you know we're plopping one in here. Nope. <laughs> I think I see a bit of a hose hanging off the side of the house. So I'm gonna put that right there. I hate that I can't put this grass or anything in here. It's not gonna be the same aesthetic, but you know what? We'll just do some pretty little flowers then. Okay, so cute. Those flowers are everything. To me, this feels like a family house. So I really want to put this minivan here. My first ever minivan I think I've ever bought in Bloxburg. Wow. And there we have the exterior of this house so far. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more 
with it on stream, but I'm really happy with this so far. Look at this house. Here's the back side. I also am probably still gonna put more windows in. This might get a lot more windows right here. I am very proud of this house. And also do not mind the fact that these are on different levels right here. You don't see that. Jump the fence, yeah. Okay, it's gonna be so dark, I'm sorry, but this is the interior. No, we have no doors, <laughs> but we can make it upstairs, that's good. Oh, I can't tell if I can get to the third floor. Oh, I didn't color this moped either. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that. But thank you so much for watching this video. This was so fun to do and to figure out. This is like the most complex house I've probably ever had to build in my whole life. <laughs> and make sure to come to stream this Saturday if you're watching this beforehand and help us to finish it up on the inside. Alrighty, I love you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye! So yeah, um, I just realized that I forgot to do the fence over here. I really just pushed that off and did not want to do it, huh? <laughs> Might as well color this too while we're all here still. I love that seashell. And now we're done, y'all. There she is.